I think the individuals who want to be involved in stuff were involved in stuff. Um, I, as I said, I didn't see anything. Maybe we're all in football, we're kind of... Um, don't feel as... Sh but I do, like, especially with our club, in instances that do happen, I feel are blown out of total proportion. Uh, we deal with people um, when we can. They are banned. Um, and I think there was a, a big security operation here tonight on, sun on Sunday as well in Tala. We spend a lot of money. We don't want to waste money doing that kind of stuff. So we will deal with it. Like, people have just ruined it for themselves. I don't think it's, hopefully it's not going to be a massive impact on people over here um, tonight. The majority of people enjoy themselves. Unfortunately, these incidents happen around sporting occasions uh, sometimes. Did you take action after Dunham Dock last Jonathan? Yeah, we did. What was the outcome of that? Were there a number of people? We banned uh, everyone that was identified, yeah. So the same? And, and yeah, people, yeah. Were, uh, people were charged as well. And up in court and in dock. Uh, don't can know. you control away games? Like, it's very hard, I suppose. Well, we work. The clubs work together um, and try our best to. Um, but as I said, when you have 4,000 people and there's 20 or 30 people that don't, don't want to instigate something. It's, a, it's very hard for the clubs to, to do anything, really. But we, we, work, uh, we work hard with the FEO and the other clubs, and as I said again, it's probably going to be one of the headlines tomorrow, but it shouldn't really uh, take away from the club's achievement. Um, but it will, unfortunately. Are you aware of any arrests being made tonight? No. Are you aware of anybody being hurt seriously or has been taken away to the hospital? No. There was a lot of footage, TV and photography, yeah. so you will go through that with the, the guards. And with like we've always done, yeah.